Five, four, three, two, Can we talk about how one. Being a virgin? Action. Yes. Hey, welcome to Shit Talk. And right here, I'm here with my other two co hosts, Jesse and Robbie the Robot. Today, we're here to talk shit about. Call of Duty and Triarch, especially. Um, especially with everything that they've been doing recently. It's been an absolute shit show. So, uh, let's go with that. Okay. If you have any comments or anything um, you want to call in and talk about in regards to that, by all means, please do. We can't wait to hear from you guys. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, I think the main thing we should really talk about the, before before we get started, right, is that, um, so, we all met for Call of Duty. Shut up, Jesse. We know this, okay? We know that. I think the whole world at this point knows that. Um, no, but, like, well, we... He's we... also cheating teeth in, in uh, Cod Ghost, by the way. Just oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> doesn't matter it doesn't, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter look so so we all met for call of duty um because my anyway, my channel shit yeah i know Let, we'll get to that as time goes on right okay okay jesse is that okay We're with you talk shit about everything basically if there's any games any complaints or anything that we have a problem with we're gonna be on it Virtually, yeah. Fortnite took a bunch of 12-year-olds. Hey, hey, we'll do that on another yeah. episode. Don't worry. That's a, that's a topic for its own. But I think right now, the main priority we can talk about is Call of Duty. Because as I've been trying to say before, is that I've been bluntly um, discriminated by, by the monkey in the nicely. room. Nicely. Nicely. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're, not, we're definitely not called shit talkers for a reason. I mean... I mean, shit is going to get talked on this show. It's going to be some shit talking. Yeah, exactly. You know? But no, we we all met for Call of Duty. Am I right? I'm I'm pretty sure I'm right. We all we all met for Call of Duty because I I especially I help people with zombies in Infinite Warfare. That's how I met Jesse. That's how we started helping maps, and that's how we met. Uh, you know, No Love or Kita Cat. Cat, Kita Cat. Um, and um, that's that's virtually like how we all met. So I think Call of Duty would be a good way to start this podcast series because that's that's how we all met as as a, as a group. You know. Um, yeah, Call of Duty brings people together. Yeah, exactly. It, it brings people together as well as tear apart everything the fan base stood for. Yeah, you know? it, it, I was going to say, it tears apart everyone's relationships. Yeah, <laughs> it can it, mess relationships up or bring it together. Especially when everyone uses marshals and search and assure you. Know, uh, let's you not get on marshal it. talks. We do a whole oh, show the, just on okay, if, if people If people don't know, um, on, on my channel, there is a, what, like a, a 30 minute video of how we bitched and complained about marshals. Which well, channel is that? You should see okay, the website okay. and what channel. Uh, Robert Robert MII Gaming, link is in the description of the stream for people that are watching. Oh, you probably would have fucking found it because you're in the fucking video. Well, the stream at the moment no, watching. Way, it. It's people like me who don't know it. I know, I know, I know. But can, if, if, if you if you're watching this, if you're watching this as it goes on, my YouTube channel is Robert Robert MII Gaming. Um, I, I do gaming videos where I trigger my entire fan base, um, is the best way to describe my channel. I do everything in my power to, um, to try and be, if you will, funny, which I am definitely not. I just get angry a lot and people seem to like seeing my and pain and suffering. It, smash his stuff and it's really funny. Yeah, it's yeah, funny that's when he's it. mad. That's, yeah, that's funny that's, when he's mad. That's what I'm everyone sorry. says. Everyone's like, aha, funny. You know, you broke something. Yeah, I like, broke my will to live. Off and it's like a joke for everybody else. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I, I, so I'm, over, I'm over here funny, crying, huh? bitching, complaining, <laughs> and then this is my fan base. Like, ha ha, you broke okay, something. No one cares, bitch. Funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Good content. Break little things. Yeah, I, I do I do break things. That's kind of the whole point, man. That's like oh Yeah, we know you you break things so yeah. you don't record it, so Hi. Hello, hungry. Welcome welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, no, it's um it, it is a shit show, considering the fact that like we bro or oh, I've broken so much shit in the past. Um Hungry is pretty gay, isn't he? What the fuck are you on about? Like you're speaking. You're speaking <laughs> fucking nonsense at this point, bro. Has the video been taken down? <laughs> no fucking way. Video? The the Martians video. That'd be funny as fuck. Oh, of course, because you were talking so much shit in that damn video. I'm pretty damn sure. I don't know. I fuck. I think it has. I think it's been taken video? down. Is it the Martian video that's been taken down? Yeah. You said that before. It got taken down twice. Because you talk so much shit in it. 
The, yeah, but that, that's because of fucking deserved But you, you were like, like, to be honest, you were really mad at me. It was pretty funny. Um, what was it? What was it? What did I call it? The for cancer example, gun. take Timmy here. <laughs> for example, take Timmy. If I just search up cancer on my videos, what the fuck's going to show up? Cancer. <laughs> cancer gun? Rant? <laughs> yeah, I think it was cancer gun rant, yeah. There was something about him. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter to me because I actually enjoyed making that video, and that's the own the first actual Call of Duty video I put so much editing into, and fucking Jax removed it. It was a lot of energy, a lot of energy. I will say that. I know I put passion into it. Like I, I it was passionate. Yeah, I put so. I, it was just it was passion, you know. It was a dying, burning passion inside me that I had it to was, I had to explain ah, to my, virtually. Like if I if I were to take oh, us no, back for a moment, like, right? If, he was if like, I were to take us back, just... on the edge of and shit. so a long time ago, when I when I began playing video games, I thought to myself, "Hey, Call of Duty would be a great game to start with." But which, which four hundred one hmm? can't? Like, there's so many four hundred videos that you need to be more specific. What? Well, where I broke my headset? No, the one the one where you like. You smashed, you, you snapped your headphones. Yeah, you snapped, you snapped your headphones. Yeah, because I was playing with the Germans. Games. Whoa, we fucking lost! Uh, I, yeah, because I was playing with the Germans. <laughs> that was funny because you got, you killed one of them and then you got team. And then yeah, no shit, it was awful. Really it was a terrible so fucking experience. Shit. It sucked. <laughs> like, imagine playing a game, yeah, right? You're funny. with your friends, you're, you're with your buddies, and then, and then you see these guys on your server and you're like, Hey, you know, that's pretty cool, you know, you guys you guys seem really you guys seem really cool. But then as time goes on you realize, hey, something's not right about these guys, so you go on their bio and you realize, oh wait, they're from fucking Germany. That's how you know shit shit's gone shit's gone downhill. Oh, no, I found it. So the video the video by the way, if anyone wants to check out me ranting for like twelve minutes and three seconds is the um the cancer gun rant, uh Call of Duty Cold War. Um I've re-uploaded it. It was on the September 9th, uh, 2021, with 35 views. Christmas you should check fails. it out. Sir, it's fantastic. The one about you going on Don't about even get started on the uh, XX stent action. Exactly. Christopher Fails has just asked the one about going on... Oh, well, the one of me talking about XX stent action. Yo! Okay. <laughs> yes. I remember this. I remember this so, so fucking well. Um, so, it was June BO4. Um... I was, I was doing. It was. I think it was like the midway point of BO4, and XX Tentation died. What, like a year ago, or um, three months, or something back from when I actually. He died 2019. Yeah, and then like I was making a video about it because everyone had was still bitching and complaining of having the um oh re uh, rest in peace XX Tentation, and the clan tag was X or was it XXT or some shit like that. And then I had like all this other shit, and it was pissing me to fuck off because I'm seeing it everywhere. Every game I go into, and in custom games and all custom games, like in multiplayer matches, people had the mics on and were blasting fucking XX Natasha music. So I made like a fucking 30 minute rant on me saying he's dead, get over it. He needs to, you need to move on. Um, and That's shit like that. Awesome. People still give me shit for that video today, saying it was really disrespectful. But you need to look at it from everyone else's point of view. Yes, he made good music. Yes, he he was a good he was a good rapper. But you know, you need to move on at that. some point. You know, it's it's the same with like Juice World, right? Juice World made great songs, it's shit still like not that. Over Tupac, and I never will be over Tupac and yeah, fuck that. Yeah, but it's it's <laughs> just it, like I said, it's the, the same. Is, the thing is, Robbie, what the thing is, what pulls Juice World apart from X? Juice World still has songs that need to be released. X doesn't. Yeah. But that's like I said, it's the same thing with Juice World, though. I'm not talking about like, oh, if you still, because like, XX Session, an album got released after he died, which was all of his songs that he made that never got released, or some shit like that, right? Uh, Juice World is the same. He, he made songs before he died, and they're still getting released. And I can understand people would still be excited for that. But what you need to look um, at it from 2, everyone. 2,000 songs, to be fair. 2,000 uh, 2, more songs that need to be released. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, fuck. Um, no, but like, you you need to look at it from like other people's perspectives, though, right? Because if you're playing a video game and you, like mainly Call of Duty, because it happens in Call of Duty, I think it ha happens in Halo a lot as well. Um, 
is that it, if you're playing a game and a celebrity or someone you know has died, like, we can all get emotional over celebrities dying, right? It happens all the time. For me, like, my main one is Stan Lee, right? Because I'm a massive comic book fan. I, I love oh my God, comics. I, I love... I love... I su- like I lo- punk bitch. Yeah, exactly. I, lo- I love my comic books. I love all that. So when it came to Stan Lee dying, I was I was devastated. And sure, I was sad. I was, sh- mm-hmm. I was like, sad for months. Um, but when it came to, like... I'm putting a couple around race. Oh, fair. No, but it's just, like... I was there for that, and I understand, you know, pe- people do get annoyed when celebrities die, people do get emotional because they look up to them, and a lot of them are idols to them, and I, and I, and I respect that, and I respected that with XX Tentacion, I expected, I, I respected that with Truth World, but if it's been months after they've been, they've passed away, and you still have to blast music from, like, from this dead person, and then have the audacity to never listen to one song previous to when he was actually alive, and then when he's dead, mm-hmm. then listen to his music and be like, oh, I've been a fan since day one. No, fuck you. You haven't See, everybody's been. gonna be mad at me for saying this. Nipsey Hussle. Nobody fucked with Nipsey Hussle until he died. And then yeah. everybody in their motherfucking mom is murals and everything, every fucking where. And I'm just like, I knew him personally, is the cold part about it. I literally knew this man, was in a studio with this man, interviewed this man on my show before. Cool yeah. guy. Real cool guy. They made this man into some kind of rap legend that I never even knew that it could be like that. And it was just so funny because he just because he's from this certain type of neighborhood, they made him into this like bigger thing than what he was. And I'm not saying his music is bad because he has good music, but the level that they put him on, it's like, hell no, we didn't even do this for pop. And yeah, he exactly. was a fucking legend. He was greatness. You know what I mean? There's plenty of people who had way more revenue, way more clout, made more years and everything that passed away that didn't get as much attention as him. And to this day, everybody be playing this shit. Nobody's dancing to it, even bobbing their head to it. They just playing it so they could be in some kind of like in circle to feel like they're part of something bigger than what they are. And that's just bullshit sometimes. Yeah, it, it's it like a conscious a consciousness <laughs> enough, especially with like X was the big example at the time. Was like it's just it's it's shitty when you go into like a lobby, you hear someone playing his music, and just keep hearing this shit, just hearing fucking. I I'm like a bitch who ain't who's your man's a cocky my dick in my pants a. You know all that shit. Yeah, it's, so, it's so it's so fucking. Music, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's so fucking annoying. It it like it stresses me out because, yeah, the person's dead. You'd be sad for a while, sure. But it was like a year. It's been a year to three months. Mm. People, you need to move on at some point, right? And I, I know I sound like a dick for saying it, but you don't need to push it in everyone else's face that, oh, I listened to his music. I did this. I did that. You have the right to be sad. Sure, you can say you like his now, music. If you're just listening but to you, listen, and that's what you do, then that's cool. But if you're just doing it to prove something, then get the fuck yeah, out of here. Exactly. You don't need to put it in your bio. You don't need to have it as a calling card. You don't need to have it as your, your emblem or anything like that. There's no point. Like sure, you can takers. if you enjoyed it, that's good for you. If you like his music, that's good for you. You have the right to be sad, but don't promote it and make this bigger deal out of it than what it was. Like I think that's why a lot of fans were pissed when XX Tentacion died was because all these people who never listened to his music came out of nowhere saying, "Oh, I've loved him since day one," and then promoted his shit to try and fit into that's his group. Every 12 year old, you know? Yeah, and that's why I said of Juice World because I fucking love Juice World's music, right? Not Juice World. No, yeah, it was Juice World, wasn't it? Yeah, Juice World. I keep thinking of fucking um the other one, um, you know, fucking um, Travis Scott was the one that passed away, not not Juice World. I love Juice World's music. I like he wasn't the, oh, my no, favorite. Travis Scott is alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Actually, yeah, like eight, eight people passed away, Robbie. Yeah, oh, the Travis pop Scott, smoke yeah. guy, he just passed away. Hmm. Um, it's so many of them, and it's like I don't even know who half of these people is. Yeah, until exactly. they pass away. Yeah, and, exactly. And it's like it's good yeah, because you know what they families need that money and everything else, and I get that. But I just I do not like clout chasers. Is yeah. the whole thing. Now, if you support that person and you're doing not it for certain years. benefits <laughs> and stuff, then that's good. <laughs> but all in all, when you just like, hey, I've been like, okay, I'm gonna say it like this, and it's gonna piss so many people off and probably lose people. The Rams. I never heard of a fucking Rams fan in my life Facts. until they got this fucking stadium in L.A. Now, oh, I've been a Rams fan. Everybody with the Rams, I'm Ram, Ram, Ram. Even my son, one of my sons sold out. One of them, the other one didn't. He like, I ain't sell out. One of my sons even sold out. It was like, I'm a Rams fan now. And I'm like, I remember buying all that Tampa Bay shit. And I remember making fun of you because nobody even liked the Tampa Bay then. So, 
Where the fuck did we start liking fans? See, me, I'm a Steeler Nation. Steeler 49ers to, and, and Dolphins to that. I'm my three main teams, okay? Period. Yeah. Steelers number one. My two backups, 49ers and Dolphins. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but all in all, no, bandwagoners. I say all that to say bandwagoners. Bandwagon-ass yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. No, it, that it right sucks. there. Anyways, we're going on topic from the main reason why I was... What we should be talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, bitching about Call of Duty is all fun, but can we talk about the fucking disaster that was Vanguard? Like, it's it's fucking shameful. Giving us another outbreak map is on this. That's just no one asked for it. See, it, it's Outbreak, but it's a shittier version of what Outbreak is. Like, Outbreak was a shit... Okay, so when Cold War got released, right, it was a good concept, okay? Because people always wanted, like, a, a free roam zombies map on a Call of Duty game. I think it was asked for heavily, and the closest thing we had at the time was Transit, but no one fucking liked Transit. Um, I liked the Transit. Yeah. Transit was great. You'd like... Oh, look, Transit... Okay, it had potential. It, it, it was You're a good map, sure. <laughs> yeah. I like Dude, no, yeah. oh, no, a lot of people. That's how I first really started, like really going hard was on transit. Yeah, that's fair. Because I like, for I, me, I can't say I can't say I hated transit because I did. I'd, lo I'd love, I'd love transit. Guys. Transit was a good map. Well, I mean, it wasn't good as Origins. It wasn't as good as Mob of the Dead or Buried, but no, it was a, it was low, a good map. Transit did what it was supposed to do. It's better than Vanguard. You can't even compare transit to Vanguard because that. Ugh. Yeah, look, <laughs> me. Can't even compare it to Wii Sports. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like me, me and Jesse have been going on. Like, no, we've been talking about it. Step up. Yeah, exactly. No, because me and Jesse have been talking about it, right? We've been going on about how like if I can enjoy Advanced Warfare, which is the shittiest Call of Duty game to date, if I can enjoy Advanced Warfare more than I enjoy Vanguard, you've done something fucking wrong. Because like Advanced Warfare mm. was fucking, it was an awful game. Well, Supply I mean, drops that's... was shit. Exo zombies was shit. The multiplayer was shit. The campaign was all right. Kevin Spacey saved it, but then you know what happened to Kevin Spacey? We don't need to talk about that. Um, it, it fucking Ooh. fell off. It, it fell off. It was. It, it had the potential to be a fantastic game. Exo movement. I mean, it kind of saved Call of Duty with BO3. Um, but then again, BO3 had a lot of fucking things that were wrong with that game more than anything else. Um, but don't even get me started with it today. <laughs> You know, on be... a single lobby with that one guy being God mode, invisible. Yeah, because you know it's He's it's heavily cheated just as much as Bo Two was now, which is sad to say. But at least it was cheated at the end of its cycle. It wasn't cheated during its life cycle. Like I, I expected there to be well, cheats, yeah, God really modes. Popular, yeah, I know. It it's it was more popular at the time, but I mean Bo Two lobbies are still heavily modded. I mean I I've even modded on Bo Two. For zombies, not multiplayer, because that's that's fucked. But zombies, I have. I've, I've modded zombies. It's on my channel. Like it, you, you can see what I've modded because and how easy it is to do. It's one download. It's one click, and then you can cheat and any to like any zombie map. It's it's stupid. Um, but yeah, Vanguard had an. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what was going through their minds when they got rid of Wolfpack and Vanguard. It's like the main pivotal point. Wait, well, when they got rid of what, sorry? War buyers, like, war weapons. Oh, easy. I Alcatraz. Oh, everyone loved Alcatraz. Like, yeah, Mo Mob of the Dead, Mob of the Dead was great. Blood, Blood of the Dead can burn in hell. Blood, Blood um, no, no, Blood of, if we're being real, Blood of, Blood of the Dead isn't that bad, but it's like, I'd rather play BO2's version. Yeah, exactly. BO2, Mob of the Dead was the, still, for me, is the best zombies map in any Call of Duty game. Um, but Blood of the Dead... I'd still say Origins. Well, yeah, everyone says fucking Origins, you basic bitch. But, like... Bitch, you say you say Mob of the Dead. No, no, no. At least, at least people with Mob of the Dead, they're chads, right? And then you have these simps that are like, oh, no, Origins, Origins, Ice stuff, Fire stuff, Lightning stuff, fucking Origins, no, Driving Tank, Boomba Panzer Morning. No one cares. It was, it, was, it was a good map, sure, but it, it's, it's nothing compared to what Blood of the Dead was. Blood of the Dead had great story, Great characters, sorry, Mob of the Dead, not Blood of the Dead, I take that back. Great story, great characters, a, a somewhat decent easter egg where you actually got to kill another teammate, 
Plus, it had one of the most banger fucking intros in any Zombies game. What the fuck? This ain't right. Something weird's going on here. You don't say, Weasel. Where are those screams coming from? Oh, shit. Oh. Like, you can't tell me Johnny Cash singing freaking Rusty Cage was not a banger intro for a map. Yeah, yeah, no, right. It was, it was fucking cool awesome. Yeah. It was... A it was a fucking Shit. awesome intro. It was amazing. And I don't care what anyone says, it was fucking brilliant. It was the best one. Origins one was good as well, with seeing the new, you know, whatever, the Victor. Yeah. Well, is, is is Origins Ultimus or is it Primus? It's Primus, yeah? It's Primus Crew. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to quickly look it up because I don't want to, I, I don't want to sound like a retard. Uh, uh, Yes, I know who's in it, but which one is? Yeah, Primus Crew. Primus Crew is Origins onwards and Ultimus is BO1 onwards. Ancient Evil. What we Ancient Evil? We sh we need to. You're right, but if we're going to, is a different question. Because that I can go. But I want to finish what we're talking about with Vanguard, then I'll come back to BO4. But virtually to summarize, like the whole Vanguard experience, I I I still think they shouldn't it, have made it. it they shouldn't. They wanna, like. Yeah, they yeah. just they shouldn't have made the game. They should have just spent a year on Warzone because it's very clear where the budget's gone to, right? So with Warzone, obviously when it started, it revolutionized Battle Royale. So it changed Call of Duty forever. The Battle Royale like Battle Royale Call of Duty free to play. Actually, it, it's a copy of X copy of the Air Force. Yeah, Blackout. Oh, yeah, yeah, Blackout. Blackout. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It it was but Blackout at least Blackout did better than what this like, Warzone's become to today. Well, Warzone has as become. As, like Warzone, Warzone was fun at the start, but now it's just full of sweats. Like, Virtually, yeah. There's fun things to do to win. If you weren't even that good. Because like at the start, it was it was shit. It started shit. It it would like black like Blackout had the potential to be something great, right? But they put too much into it and it overfilled the expectations of what it could have been. It seemed to be more of people trying to get skins than it was actually trying to win the game. Because, I mean, I spent most of my time just trying to get fucking Mason, who I still don't have yet. And I can't get because there's no more lobbies of BO4 Blackout because everyone's playing Warzone. Um, but Warzone, it was a good launch. It was a good idea for a map. Continuing the story of Modern Warfare with Zakaev and um, it was Zakaev. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Zakaev. Um, having like Zakaev being, you know, the main the main villain of the story, um, and setting up characters like like no, Ghost Simon. No, but... Ghost Simon being the season one operator was fucking incredible, considering he's everyone's fan favorite character in the Modern Warfare franchise. It was, it had a great launch, but then they made Cold War, <laughs> and that's where it went to shit. <laughs> they. Oh, Cold yeah, War. Cause they, they had to merge stuff between like games. Yeah. Balancing those. They turned Warzone into the like, 80s. Yeah, that was the dumbest shit ever. Like, I get that you kind of can have a prequel story, but having Captain Price, a modern warfare character in a Black Ops game, fuck no. No, no, no. None of that shit. I wouldn't allow it. And considering that he's a canon character in Cold War now, it, it's stupid. But th that's why I don't like Vanguard, because they did the same thing. They're just going back in time. We've gone from the 2000s, now back to, what, the 80s, now from the 80s back to, what, 1925, whenever the hell World War Two was. Like... They're all over the place oh, with it. Yeah, it, it's fun. Like, yeah, 1945, but we're, we're not, I think we're in like the 30s, we're not in the 40s yet. I think it's where this game takes place because there's going to be a quote unquote continuation of Vanguard at some point, which I do not want. I do not want a continuation to it. Well, here's the thing, right? Everyone definitely wants that. The Call, the call of Duty community fucked themselves into this game. That That's the thing. You can't say, oh, no one asked for it because that's horse shit. People asked for it. 
Because everyone was bitching and complaining that we're going back to the Dude, modern era. Good game, yet we haven't got one since PS3. You have half of the Call of Duty fan base, right? That keeps saying, "Oh, keep to the modern, the modern stuff." You got another half of the fan base saying, "We missed the futuristic shot. The futuristic shit bring back exo movement." Then you have the original fan base, which is like, continue to make the World War Two games. Because you got to remember, Call of Duty started as a World War Two game. I mean, like Call of Duty One, COD Two, the big uh, what's it, the the big red ones, um, and then like um, yeah, World of War, COD Three. They're all World War Two games. Yeah, the well, franchise well, started as a Call of Duty, you know, a, a COD COD Three game. Well, a World War Two game. Then when Modern Warfare came out, it changed everything. Having a, mod a, a realistic modern shooter with actual terrorist organizations and shit on it. So yeah, that's cool. You got auto tune robo voice B O I. Oh, bruh. Probably. I probably do. I, don't, I, I just realized, I would, have I had a voice change on the entire time when I was saying that? No. Okay, good. Well, you I, sounded normal, so it was like. Okay, good. I thought I had, if I had a fucking voice on one mistake, I was going to say, oh shit. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 I would have mentioned something. No, yeah, exactly. No, um. But yeah, no, because then they had a I'm modern... I'm going to pick something differently. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. No, but then they had, like, a, a modern shooter, <laughs> right? They had a modern shooter, and that changed shit. But, um, I mean, like I said, having real, like, terrorist, you know, scenarios, like, the No Russian mission, like, that was a really intense fucking mission. mission. Yeah, No Russian changed Call of Duty forever. It wasn't intense at all. You literally just got out of an no, but you got to remember, back yeah. in the day, there's yeah. never been, there's never been anything Sean like it. That is yeah. true. So it was different like for the, the time, minute. and it made it like really invigorating oh, okay. didn't know that. Thanks, for sir. a lot of people at that point. It's like a oh, lot the of the gaming were. Yeah. It's like okay, the younger, I say the younger gamers, like right now, you guys are so overprivileged because y'all have so many different games and so many different things that come out and it's so much that it's like nothing to you right now like how you just said it was like yeah whatever and he was like it was great at that time and it's like i get that it's like this is imagine we're going from old school mario and now we here and we got people shooting people on elevators and stuff like that so from those type of standards from like literally growing up into different games and then starting off playing events games it's totally different gamers no, Which one? It's it's yeah. the same. It's the Mario same. Me, like, like I'm like, in love with Minecraft right now. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so much like, fun. It's like you can never go. You can never get bored of Mario Kart. There's so much fun things just to do. Yeah, but there's been so many I, games. I just love there's, turning into the bullet. Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> no, but like, there's, there's been there's been so just many games that have like changed the way we play games forever, right? Like you gotta you gotta go back to like the good the, the good old days like back to like the Commodore sixty four the Atari shit like that, a lot of those games like my no, all time no, favorite my all time fucking favorite game was on the on the Amiga right and that game was Monkey Island I, I fucking I have always been a Monkey Island fan since, since like the Amiga. I have Mon heard that so long. Bro, Monkey Island was Monkey Island was the first game I ever played as a kid, right? That was the my, that's okay, what that's are you what got me stuck. Your age? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what got me stuck on, into video games was Monkey Island. Monkey Island was mm -hmm. the best fucking game. I mean, you got to, you, I mean, what's fucking more better than having playing as a teen? Well, not even a teenager, a mid a mid aged pirate falling in love with a governess, fighting a fucking G ghost, and then a ghost that turns to a zombie, a fucking a guy with a seaweed Sir, beard, a beard made of fire, fucking human that, stone. Yeah, and then and then you have Monkey Island, you know, with the fucking the second biggest monkey head this cunt has ever seen, like. It, it it changed everything. Monkey Island changed everything, and then Donkey because I, I mean Donkey Kong was good, but it was nothing about Monkey Island. I mean Monkey Island was a fantastic fucking game. And then like as I grew up, I I started playing arcade games and shit. Right, I started playing original arcade games like Pac Man and, Pac -Man. and shit like that. Galaga. Pac Man fucking, is always going to be a favorite. Yeah, Pac Man, yeah, Galaga, and then stuff like um I think it's called. Ooh, Spec Galaga! Ops. Ooh, are you really showing your age right now? Not and then like <laughs> shit, shit like shit like Spec Ops as well. That was a fucking great game. And then like Mission, well, I think what's it? Not Mission Impossible, Impossible Mission. When that was an arcade game, that shit was that shit was fire. But then, and then I found probably. Again, a game that changed my look at gaming forever, um, which was the first arcade game to run on a laser disc and for the full game to be fully hand drawn and animated hand drawn, which was Dragon's Lair, Don Bluth. 
Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon slayer. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. That game fucking oh, wow. changed. That game changed everything for gaming. I, I think that you can't look back at games, right? You can't look back at games and say, oh, this game changed everything if you aren't going to mention Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair, Don Bluth's Dragon's Lair, for people that don't know, is a game, I think, I swear it was mid 70s or like early 80s. Um, but it was, to summarize it, a character named Dirk. Like, uh, well, Dirk the Daring, if you want to be specific. Um, it, it, he's a knight, and he's trying to save this princess named Princess Daphne, who is probably the most beautiful girl in video game history oh, I still know, for me. I know it now. Yeah. Um, I, know, I know what game you're talking about now. Yeah, and, now. Yeah, and then you have to go into a castle. Yeah, 1983. Dragon's Lair 1 came out in 1983. Its continuation Wait, came out in the 90s, and then the second game, Space Ace, which is sort of on the same thing as Dragon's Lair, was 83 as well in October. So, Dragon's Lair changed fucking everything for me. Because, like, it was cool playing as a, 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 a quirky knight, Dirk the Daring, going into a castle, fighting all these, like, the Lizard King and the bats and the fucking little Goomba guy looking ass guys, a fucking platform falling to its death, fighting these mud guys, and then going to the fucking Dragon's Lair, fighting Sins the Dragon, and beating the fuck out of him just to save his princess and for her to say, hey, you know what? Let's get married. For the second game to continue from there, except, you know, you're in a time machine going through all these different universes and shit and, you know, fighting fucking the evil wizard Mordok. It was it was a fucking fantastic game. It changed everything. And Space Ace being the futuristic version with Ace, you know, trying to fight Kimberly from the, uh, you know, what's his name? Borf, the, the big blue smurf. <laughs> so, I mean, it was a great game for what it was. And I think that's what changed gaming forever, especially graphics-wise. I mean, you never played an arcade game back then and think, wow, that was fantastic graphics. When you go to an arcade machine and first look at Dragon's Lair and be like, yo, what? An actual hand-drawn game by Don Bluth, a guy who made such amazing movies, A Secret of Nim. I mean, like, <laughs> all dogs go to heaven and shit like that. Oh, my God. I, I love Don Bluth so much. So, so much. But, yeah, Dragon's Lair changed everything. And then then you got to shit I mean, like Call of Duty. I go to an arcade, and I'm playing pinball instead of an arcade game. Just saying. Well, that's why I, that's another game that's one of my all-time favorite games on PlayStation. I'm gonna it's kill like everybody with this one. My yeah. my favorite back in the day was Zelda or Kid of Time. Oh <laughs> no! Okay. In Diddy Kong, Pokemon Snap. Right, yeah. <laughs> can we talk about? Different. Can we talk about how like the original the original Legend of Zelda games, right? Like the the, the fucking bird's yes. eye view fighting Zelda was evolutionized oh, puzzle okay. games forever. Then they had wow. Ocarina of Time which was fucking yes. sensational fucking with its wonderful. graphics. And it was amazing it was for its game. It was fucking awesome. It was but the then, chicken flying. Yeah, exactly. But no, 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 no. But then it got better. Then they released its sequel. And can we not <sighs> fucking talk about the fact that, man, Jorah's Mask was the scariest shit. Like, it was the only child yeah. Nintendo hey, game that would give you fucking games. nightmares. Man, Jorah's yeah. Mask was fucking horrifying. The moon especially. It was scary. No, it really was horrible. The monsters and shit on there. They monsters was always, like, the most scariest monsters um, until, like, Resident Evil started really, like, doing, yes, you know, yeah. real hard in the pain. But before the end, like, as far as, like, scary shit, it was Zelda. Zelda was, it was doing it, you know? Yeah, Zelda, the, the whole... It did that. And the witches, how they came out, it was just like, ah, that's yeah, when they started doing the team... 3D shit. So with Kid Link in the original series, I think changed, was amazing. Then you had the quote-unquote teenage slash Kid Link, which is Ocarina of Time um, and the Majora's Mask. Then you have the more adult Link in the newer ones, you know, like uh, Twilight Princess and fucking um, all those ones. And then you had like the Toon Link from like the Train one, which 
But I didn't like that much. I didn't like the, a lot of the Toon Link games. I stopped at the Orca time, I'm not going to lie. It was like the other one. It was, I think that was going on Nintendo 64. Well, no, Wii. I think it was going to Wii. Yeah. Once he started going to Wii, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah Majora's I'm, I'm Mask, I, I still think, is the best Zelda game I've ever played. Because it was the first licensed Nintendo game made by Nintendo for kids that was genuinely scary. Because, like, the mm -hmm. mood was horrifying, the mask salesman was hor horrifying, and the first scene yeah. of the game is you being brutally oh, tortured and transformed into a fucking little go. tree thing. Getting you could college. literally hear how much pain and agony he was in as you started transforming. It was terrifying. Yeah, hey, no, the way they do the up close on the monsters and shit, yes. I don't know yeah. who developed that one back then, and I mean, who thought to develop that? That was fucking wonderful. Yeah. Like, I, I really was like, okay, I'm scared. I'm not sleeping in here by myself. Yeah. Like, it was good. Remember the <laughs> um the spider monster? That, yes, shit, is, that yes. shit is still great to this day. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. I will go and fight that spider monster over and over again. That shit was wonderful. Exactly. Everything was just great. That whole everything that they did on that game was fucking awesome. Yeah. Period. Like, exactly. No way around it. It was, it was greatness. They knew what they were doing when they did that. But then, like, yeah, I, said, like I said, that game changed a lot of things, the graphics-wise. Then they made the first, the, probably the best shoot of all time, which would have yeah. been GoldenEye. And GoldenEye, bringing in multiplayer to a shooter um, game, ev 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 back. evolutionized fucking games forever. And that's why when Call of Duty brought out, you know, what they brought out back in yeah. the day, COD 1, like the original COD, that changed, you know, mm -hmm. World War II, the history side of shooters. Wait, wait, then, wait, wait. Let me say this first. Yeah. Black... I feel like they did Black, and I feel like Call of Duty stole a lot from Black, even though Call of Duty was already kind of, like, around doing their own thing. But when Black came out, I noticed that Call of Duty, like, it kind of, like, started copying a lot of the shit that was on Black. So, I mean, that's that was one of the first war games I got into was Black. And yeah, it was but wasn't, great wasn't Black games. also made by, by Activision, though? No, it was EA. Yeah. It was, oh, okay. it was EA. I can't remember. No, but it was EA. Anyway, it was EA. Goes, if you look at Black and then you see, oh, look at the brown bunny. And if you see, like, um, how Call of Duty start acting after Black came out, it was like you could, like, literally see they stole a lot of, you know, a lot of that. A lot of yeah. what they had in that game, how it was and everything because Black did so good. Hey. Oh. I was yeah. like, oh, I thought you were so sorry. No, but, um. As, as, as the time went on, obviously, you know, you had games like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, that changed it, had actual terrorist themes inside of the game, and actually having terrorist scenarios. Like, um, Modern Warfare 1 would have been the nuke scene. <laughs> exactly. It would, have, it, would have, it would have been the nuke scene. The nuke scene was, I think, changed a lot. Uh, changed a lot when it came to, like, terrorist scenarios. And you had no rush into Modern Warfare 2. In Black Ops, it would have been um, the uh, concentration camp in Black Ops 1. When you're in the mines and shit, yeah. and breaking out uh, as Mason Still as well. one of the best missions ever. Yeah, it's the same with the um, Russian roulette. Yeah. That that scene that was really freaking oh, intense. Russian, Russian, Russian roulette, yeah. Um, Black Ops Two. I could play the campaign right now. I can't. I can't remember what it was for Black Ops Two, but there was one in Black Ops Two, and then Modern Warfare Three. Um, I still think would have been. Oh, was Modern Warfare? Was it Modern Warfare that had the um the truck bomb? The one. Um, not what I wanted. Um, yeah, it was Modern Warfare Three, where they they were in London and the um they had the truck drive by the kid, and um it exploded the 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 truck Pick exploded because it was a bomb. <laughs> they had the um the car bombs and shit in the game, and that that was the biggest terrorist film at the time. And then they tried to keep what? up doing it, and then you know they, they brought out like. Yeah, and then no, but like, in yeah, and then yeah, Modern Warfare 2019 is where they opted the up the ante with a full blown terrorist situation, suicide. You had suicide bombers. You it's had so car bombs. It's me. Yeah, hungry. Yeah, dude. It's all it was. It's just you had suicide bombers. You had truck bombs. You had well, the, this. The, you had the, that. The it it was like I don't think there was like just. The main goal was to kill the terrorists, eventually. Yeah, exactly. It changed everything. And in Cold War, um, you know, Cold War didn't really change a lot when it came to gaming, especially with its story, because its story lacked a lot of shit. And same with Vanguard. Like, the only thing I can mention about Vanguard is that it had a very historically, like, historical accuracy for when it came to the, um, 
Um, oh, shit, that um, that mission. I haven't even played that campaign. I haven't done. Um, Stalingrad. This the the Battle of Stalingrad. That was actually really accurate. A lot a lot of it was, anyways, for the Battle of Stalingrad. And um, yeah. Oh, uh, Faze and Hungry now have a channel together. Good job, guys. Good stuff. Um, Did that? <laughs> yeah. Let's get it demonetized. Oh, probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, Is no. That's or YouTube. YouTube. Um, and yeah, no, that changed. That changed. That changed a lot. Call of Duty changed a lot as it's gone on, and um, go, now that we talked about Vanguard and how shit Vanguard is, shit multiplayer, shit it's, zombies. You know what? Not let me interject. It yeah. was like it went from it start. It seemed like it started to do better, and then out of nowhere, it's like. Cody no, just no, 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 no. It it Sit. started flopping since BO3. Yeah, thank Let's you. just be real. Kodak underscore yeah. underscore hungry. Yeah. True. Even though BO3 had the shittiest PHX. campaign ever. Yeah, look, you yeah. need to... Because Call of Duty dropped off didn't, and... BO4 didn't even have a campaign. Which game? BO4. BO4. Yeah. yeah. Look, uh, that's what I was saying. Yeah. COD, COD dropped off with Ghosts, right? When new gen, PS4 onwards started to get released, the campaigns got shittier, the multiplayer got more broken, mm -hmm. and the zombies just got more shit. Now... BO3 is debatably the best zombies experience, right? Mm -hmm. But I still think that's... Uh, debatable. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's debatable <laughs> as fuck. Because <laughs> people can say, oh, but it had the best maps. I still maps. say BO1 all the way. Yeah, I still say BO1, BO2 had the best zombies, right? BO2 especially. BO2 had... Sent, yeah, BO2 had probably... See, I, the, I like BO1 because it's more old school. Because like, there's no, like, game-breaking weapons. Yeah, but no, B BO... BO2, uh, BO2, I still think, BO2 had... Is yeah, was the most balanced zombies and had some of the Cody best maps. Underscore and underscore hungry. Um, but... Said. To this day. Did you draw the background? Yes, I drew the background. Thank you for noticing. Um, I did I did on a and stream, then, actually. I did a drawing stream on Twitch. So if you want to go see more of my drawing stuff, go over on my Twitch. Link is also in the description. Uh, but... Yes. Yeah, no. It, yes. it, it changed a... Um, yeah, from Ghost onwards, it, it went downhill really fast. Because you got to remember, Ghost had an awful launch. Ghost, I don't know. We, I don't mind Ghost. Ghost is fine. Yeah, look, it's, Ghost, it's Ghost had a good... Ghost. To me, anyway. People keep saying, oh, Ghost was the worst Call of Duty game of all time. No. Advanced no, no. <laughs> Warfare was the worst Call of Duty game Everybody of all time. Everybody talks shit oh, yeah, about cool. Ghost and Vanguard. Those are the two main ones that I ever heard had the yeah. most shit talked about it. Ghost... Ghost had the most shit talking anybody. Yeah, thing. because everyone was like, oh, yeah. it has it has an awful third mode, which was Extinction. It had... What, what, the what multiplayer was... Co multiplayer is the only one people said were good because it had the same sort of multiplayer BO2 did at the time. And I still think it does. The multiplayer on the game is fucking fantastic. And people said it was an awful campaign considering the fact it was originally supposed to wow, be a spin-off story good. to Modern Warfare. But you have to remember, Ghost doesn't take place in the Modern Warfare universe... The, the this whole story of Ghost, I guess you could see where it does, but it doesn't. It is a what if story of the Modern Warfare universe. The multiplayer was balanced. It was fun, um, but as time went on oh, and they brought I out maps, say balanced because like every every gun in that game literally two taps. No yeah, but that's what. how it was balanced. That's how <laughs> that's how it was balanced, Jesse. Yeah, that's, but that's just it's so dumb. I know, that's but. So then, yeah, but it had some of the best guns SMG in the game. You had you had the RP, you had the Reaper, which was a fantastic gun. The Honey Badger, you had the the MP5, like it had some of the the best. The Chainsaw. <laughs> it had it had the Chainsaw, which was the best LMG in Call of Duty history. It had one of the best maps I've ever played, which it's was Stonehaven. Is. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> them, them, everyone's everyone hates on them because it's so big, but like. I was playing it the other day. It wasn't even that big. I was yeah, yeah look, it, I, I fucking hate Stonehaven. I fucking hate it so much. But the only game mode... I, it, I enjoyed it. Wow, nobody Searching even talks about Stonehaven. Like, real life. Yeah, I know. Nobody that, even that, talks about it. I know. It's just Stonehaven... It, it was too big because you only had three spawns in the game and the, it was only... Six, well, what? It was like... Yeah, and six v six. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because no, there was, no, there was own, that's the reason people hated it. It was too big. It was too big because you couldn't find, like it would take you half the match to find one player. It no, but like you play it now, it's like 
Yeah, but that's, that's because if you're doing with mates and stuff, like the only time it would be good was for Michael Myers, or um, yeah, was Michael Myers or Safeguard? They would be the only game modes that were good for it. But um, Safeguard was survival mode. Well, Safeguard was a good game mode, though. People, like, they fucking, what, what they fuck. Is it? Is it yeah, the, like, the one we played, where, like, the, you know, the supply drops. Yeah. And, yeah, that one. It's so good. It is really good for Safeguard. Same with the Lighthouse one. That was I really like good. It. I like Safeguard, but it's just, like, we ran out of ammo too quick. In the you need, no, because you need the right map. Good. That's all it is. You need the right map. If you don't have the right map, it's not as good. Like, doing it on Fog and playing as Mark well, we, Wise well, is so good. We chose the, we, we chose the one that You chose... Uh, 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 don't put that shit on me. You chose the wrong map. You were a host. I was no, telling no, no. you, you, oh, said, do this map. Do this map. map. And you're like, nah, shit on him. Him. no. No, no, no. You're like, no, no, no. no, no. Right. That map's no, that shit. So what happened is... What happened is we were trying to play the, we were trying to play the game and I was asking him what map we should play because he said he knew, like, spots. And then he said, oh, this one's good because there's a window we can sit and camp in and they only come from oh. one direction. We get No, there. that wasn't the one I was talking about, though. I was like the one with the lighthouse. And you're like, oh, this one? And it's like the one with the stream. It's like, look, it's, I said, and I quote, it is okay, it's but it's not the best map. Keep fighting. That's yeah. what you right. to do. You guys, you, guys, you guys talk for a second. You guys talk for a second. I'll need to quickly mute myself. I'll be back. Keep trying. Because we uh, need to get ghosts. Of course. You should get ghosts. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'm getting ghosts later. That's me thinking about getting ghosts got me COVID. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought well, about it. That was Hungry's fault. We blame it on Hungry. hungry. I blame it on Hungry. Mm -hmm. He gave me the COVID through the phone, mm -hmm. somehow, some way. It was the phone. Phone. I think he no, cursed me. It was just the fact that he he wanted he was playing it too much, you know. Mm. Every yeah. day, nonstop, nonstop, and I can't say nothing because I'm on Minecraft like this, so I can't say anything because you know, yeah, addicts Minecraft are addicts. Addict you said Minecraft. Minecraft did what? I'm back, people. Minecraft Anyways. Minecraft. Uh, you never get bored of Minecraft, really. Well, yeah, really Mi can't. Minecraft so can... many things to do. Yeah, because, well, I mean, Ghost, it's a story. Like you can get bored of it, especially when you're playing with hunger and all he wants to do is like grind his head and get to one. <laughs> is that, is that all this is gonna be? Is just you talking shit about hunger? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a... No, 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 no one was like, oh, I got COVID because um, I was thinking about buying Ghost and I put it on hunger. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all him. I on, blame on, I blame him. On, honestly, though, like um, like Ghost is a good game, right? I can't shit on Ghost because it it was yeah, but it's just, it's ruining it. You guys make not, games good. It's, 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 it's just you know what it is. Hmm. It's when you play with certain people. Like certain games don't even be fun. Like I never would have thought of Minecraft or any of these other type of games. It's like playing with like a certain type of group, and you know, certain people make things so much better for you like it's just fun hmm. it's just so much fun playing with certain people like i never had that much fun playing um infinity war or i loved it infinity war I was playing it before you guys but it was not as fun as until i had like uh, a good yeah, group for us you were playing huh? it playing it casually but not for us I no, I was playing it, and I was, like, really getting into it, and that's what made me start looking into finding ways to be able to get the um, the editors, I mean, the um, double E and all that stuff, is because I was I was getting into it, and I'm like, okay, you know, this seems like, okay, I could fuck with this, but then, like, getting on with you guys, and, you know, before we started shit-talking, y'all was shit-talking, it was wonderful for me. <laughs> It yeah, was like exactly. a great, like, you know. Shit. See, that's that's what everyone says, right? So everyone who we've helped has all virtually said the same thing, which has been um, when they meet us, they think that we're going to be like, you know, some 12-year-olds that don't know what the fuck we're doing and that, like... No, like every other one. And that, just be like yeah. every other Discord cop, pop pass and everything else yeah, that yeah, just talk. All, yeah, all just, toxic. Yeah. That we're all toxic and shit and that if we failed, we were going to fail maps and if we did, we would never talk to them again, Right. That's the yeah, impression. That's, low key, yes. that, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's the that's the, impre the impression everyone gets when they see, they like. See, I think I think that's Robbie after my before attempts, but I never get that. 
That's me just trying to failing based on my first fucking try by myself, bro. Just like, no, fuck this. <laughs> no, but um, I I fail based by myself because I don't have hide and seek. But then the I only time I would oh, ever man. actually say f this and not play IW oh, and tell the guy not you need to find someone else is if we were doing Mefo and it took us like a month to do. Not saying anyone in particular. No, but and you then, fucking and then, know who you are. Um, yeah. My that <laughs> person know who they are. And then when you try helping someone do Easter eggs, and then you say, "Buy guns off the wall, so we can take you into a practice." Oh, fuck! Don't get me started. Oh wait. Okay. Can, 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 can I talk? Can I talk about this? Can I? Like, you didn't tell me to buy guns. Okay. Can I talk about this? But I just won't mention the person's name for confidentiality reasons. Oh, I can talk. That person. I can, I, I can yeah, talk. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I'll talk, I'll talk. I'm just gonna change. I'm just gonna change the name. I'm just gonna change the name. Okay. I'm just gonna change the name because I feel like it for for no, their for their for their dick. for their reason. I'm I'm gonna have to change the name, right? So, um, he's back, ten, he's ten years old, by the way. Well, that's exactly. Years. Keep in um, mind, this this kid is young. Um, he he's he's a younger fellow. Um, but when I me and Jesse started first running maps back in the day, um, there was a. A person who, on my channel, because I'm recognized from one of my videos that I, it's just showing people to get D-card. That's how people found my channel, how I grew my fan base was from that video. Um, and I respect that because I like helping people, you know? So, back mm-hmm. in the day, there were... Oh, commu- exactly there were- Shut up. <laughs> back, back in back back in the day, back in the day, um, on PlayStation there were communities. Um, obviously, if you you've been on PlayStation for a while, you'll know about the community feature that was removed and why it was why oh, it was I removed. It. I love that because like that's how I got so much, we got so many runs back then. I know, like, I know. You just go on there and ask if anyone wanted it, and then you just do it for them. Yeah, exactly. But back in the day, it was um, you know, do you got any um, any anyone who needs help with anything? They would say yes. Like that. That's how I met you, Jesse, obviously, and how I met, you know, like Ellie, and how I met um, Hungry, and how I met everyone, everyone else who I ran up for, you know, Fendo, and all of them. Um, so obviously, you know, I'm trying to get a screw on there. Yeah, exactly. But like, that's how I met all of you guys. We were, I think mainly for communities. Well, Jesse, I met how you. I met your mom. I, <laughs> how <laughs> I met your mother. But. Um, yeah, as time went on, I think it was just that in in the communities, my name got tossed around a bit because of the video. Well, you know, you're a community hoe. It's cool. Well, I'm not. The guy, the main guy like in the community, stories. the main guy in the community was named Mark, um, and he God. he is a fucking legend. He was yeah, he he was, he was the most goaded player on IW I've ever seen. He could do everything in like minutes. It was fucking insane. He he was so he, good he at what he Mephist- did. He did Mephistopheles solo. Yeah, like, he soloed Mephistopheles for people. He was goaded. Yeah, he he did like that burst gun and beat it. Yeah, exactly. He 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 was fucking insane with what he did. He was fucking incredible, um, and and it was good. You know, it was it was awesome to see. But that's when I met, you know, I, I met Mike. Um, I I. And that was the darkest day of my life. Um, <laughs> I can't. You, you should have just gave him Mike. You should have given Mike to Mark. <laughs> I tried. Mark wouldn't take him. He did one map, and the kid wouldn't join, and he got off mid mid run. He told him, "Not nah, fuck off." Oh, I had to do it. So I said, "Okay." <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's when um, that's when I met Mark. Um, I I. Was that Mark on any or some shit? Huh. Didn't Mark unfriend you? Yeah, he unfriended. Yeah, 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 he unfriended. What the fuck? What was that? Me. Getting... Oh, okay. Creeper. Um, Creeper blew I... me up. That's fair. <laughs> they're playing <laughs> games, by the <laughs> way. Well, I'm actually sure. They're, they're... Keep in mind, they're Drawing doing me, games, no, no. and I'm trying to do it no, when I'm I trying to... Oh, my God. Good I man. Good, good man. At, le- at least we can be professional in what we do, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm playing. I'm sorry. I know it's all good. It's all good. But um, oh it was, God. um, it was. Yeah, I met this guy named Mark. And um, to summarize my experience, it took us three months. No, it, don't even say it took us. <laughs> yeah, like, it, we didn't even complete it. That's 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 just the only way. We well, we it. did in the end, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna no, round I it. Think- I'm gonna ra- I'm gonna round it and say five. 
because I feel like it was free, but five, I feel what, like I years? feel five. it would have had to be. That's, it would have. It would have. It would have. Okay, it was anywhere between three to five months is how long it took us to get this guy's maps done, right? So. If you, don't know, if you don't know what I mean, right, on PlayStation, you can do it on PC, you can do it on Xbox as well. People can run maps for you in a custom game, invite you in at the end, and you can just grab the key and you don't need to do anything. It's what I do, it's what Jesse does. No, and he, couldn't, he couldn't do that. He had to be in for yeah, the whole but run. That, like, let, let me get to that. But there's the boss fight, and he'd, yeah. he'd have to pick stuff up. Like yeah, he had to I know. Pick the key up, and he'd leave the game then. It'd just be like, what's the yeah, point? Yeah, I know. But it's just, he, um... That what happens sometimes is depending on your like your network type, um, you might not be able to actually join me in way and you have to be in the entire game. So this kid's network was it was mm-hmm. fucking it yeah. was trash. So we had to um we had to invite him in. Um and he had to be with us when we were running the maps. And the amount uh, of times I think I broke two controls. He went down there was there was one zombie and he went down from fifty times. Yeah, it was, round two, five, it was round two it was round two. He had full perks because um, we were giving him money because we had decoded up time. We were, he had full perks and he went down to a zombie. Um, and then he... And then he blamed it on us. Yeah, and he blamed it on us because... He, yeah, and he blamed it on us because we weren't training we're the zombie when we were doing the Easter egg. This was on the Taco the Radioactive thing, yeah. I remember it, because we were doing the bomb set. Uh, yeah, or the chem step, if you will. Like, we were doing math and we were both, like, looking at photos and shit. Yeah. And then he, as he goes down... And the zombie is like right next to one of us. Yeah, training. yeah. And then he it's left. Like, he, he, he he fucking left the game. And he just leaves the game, yeah. Yeah, and then he said, invite me when it's done. Now, what you need to keep in mind, with Attack and Beast, there is no soul key, and the soul key is the cutscene. So leaving and telling us, invite me when it's done, is hell. And considering the fact that it takes him nearly three minutes to join, we had to invite him as soon as we started the thing, and he probably would have joined straight away. He failed this um, four th- he failed this four times, keep in mind. It Jesus was the it was Christ. the eighth it was the eighth time we no, did the I don't, bomb- even, I don't even think we fin- I don't even think we finished um we didn't. The next things. I think we just said get fucked. And then yeah. just left him. Yeah. It was like he left every single time. Like we Yeah, because we'd get it like for the the soul key, the cutscene would be fine. He'd just leave the game for no yeah. reason. Yeah, so we did the bomb code and then the cutscene started and left the game because we told him that the cutscene is the soul key, but what he doesn't realise is you have to sit through the fucking cutscene to get the soul key. So he left at the start and then we couldn't invite him. Um and he joined it was too late and he threw a temp- the temper tantrum and he left. Um that took us five months. And we then didn't he, and then we he did one of us, I think. Yeah, we, we didn't finish Beast. Um no, I wouldn't even start a base like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, we, we never fin- we never finished base. I think we we started it and we were doing wheels and then he left, and then we just said no, nah, not doing it, not doing it. Um, who was that the other day that did that? Who left? Oh, um, Seb. Yeah. Fuck that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's still he's still, he's still no inviting me because that's the thing. What he was saying what he was saying is that um his mum turns off the power. Um, oh. At a certain time. Oh, wow. But the, what he needs to keep him realise is that we've caught him in his bullshit two times. Because turning off the power oh. means that he turns off his PlayStation, right? And mm-hmm. if he turns off his PlayStation, it means he would have timed out the game. Keep keep these words in mind. Timed out mm-hmm. the game. Mm-hmm. True, 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 true. And it says, but, he, yeah, he, says so he, left he left the game, the meaning he physically well, no, no. closed right. up and then left the party, yeah, then and then the said party. his mum turned off the power. So if he's saying he fact. only left because his mum turned off the power, that's all shit. He didn't, because he left the game timed out. And I called him out on it. So I was with Hungry, we were in a group chat with this kid, and I called it out on him. Hungry could back me up, um, but I, I, I called him out. I sent him a paragraph saying, look, don't expect us to run maps for you anymore if you're not going to um, let us help you. If you want to help, we can help the you. Worst, the but worst part is, like, the worst part is like, I was doing Black Friday really? like twice. Yeah, and I, and I know. It was like two hours into it, and I was still doing Black Friday because he was switching and I was getting yeah. here. Yeah, I know. But the, he he's been inviting me day in and out to run the final maps for him and and Mefo, but I've told him until he can tell me that he's committed to do at least four hours, like at least have four hours on him or three hours on him, and says uh-huh. sorry to me, you and well, me, GSE and and Hungary, I'm not running maps for him. He can do it himself, or he can find someone else to do it. 
It sounds like a dick I'm... thing, but you need to keep in mind, we get the most abuse out of anyone. Why does that sound like a dick thing again? At Be... what point did that sound like a dick thing? Because oh. I heard a lot of dick things then sound like no dick was involved, but okay. Ha 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 ha. Funny, funny, funny. funny. Bro, yeah, has... Bro, I, I don't know if you said it. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Not, not, not here. <laughs> not here. <laughs> not in this. This is going. I this is exactly what Jesse was going to say, say, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Remember, this is getting posted on on so on the stock too, man. Really leave it, leave you it. There's gonna be some editing ass people. Is all I'm saying. Oh, there's gonna be some que- there's gonna be some questions. Maybe if we do, if if we get if this gets popular enough, maybe I'll talk about it. But I don't know if I will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Will you post the link and buy people's subscription? Yeah. No, fuck that. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> if my if, if the people on my YouTube channel don't know what I look like, they're not they're not getting that link. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Okay. Where were we? Where were we? Um. Haha. <laughs> Jk. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh yes. No. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Um. Person. Yeah. So. He was, he was actually wanting us to run maps. I'm told until he says sorry to you, he says sorry to Hungry, he says sorry to me. I'm not running any maps for him, but he's refusing to do so, so I'm, I'm not running maps for him. I told him to get stuffed. Um, and as I was saying before, we in get... The nice, in people the nicest that, way possible. Yeah, in the nicest way possible, because he is still a kid. I can't straight up swear at him. I can't straight up swear at him, because that's just that's not right. Um, I swear at kids all the time. Yeah, no, I, I know, but they, they, they're <laughs> your family. They're your family. These are strangers. <laughs> The last time I saw, the last yeah, time I like swore, the, the last time I swore at a kid when I was helping him, um, I all I said was, "Are you fucking kidding?" Because he yeah, swapped out his candles, and I told him not to. Um, he started to cry. Mm-hmm. I told him, "Oh, what, what, what are you crying about?" And he got his mom, and his mom got on the mic and started losing. As she loved, just, well, she started losing a shit at me, and I just straight up told him, "No, um, <laughs> you got no right to be doing this." He's asking for my help. I'm giving him the help he's asking for. Don't. Don't give me shit. Um, the fact that you're letting your kid, a nine-year-old, even let alone talk and add strangers on the internet is, it seems like a problem yeah, on you. Yeah, scary. Yeah. In, I yeah. Just said that, How that's you straight, gonna get mad? Try to control the yeah, internet to make it PG-13 when you're a parent. That's straight up bad parenting on your part. If you're gonna need to come here yeah. and yell at a stranger who you let your kid add, you know, to mm-hmm. help him with, and do stuff. For you know, I could have been a pedophile, right? If I could have been a pedophile, Facts. I could have been doing something. But Facts. Sent, but Say you know. It yeah, it's like it's it's a big no no, you know. Yeah, no, you post to monitor who your kids on with. Like, why is he on there with the grown man anyway? He should have been on there with some kids. It's like it's cool for him to do it, but if he know he can't hang and you know be around that, then they shouldn't put him in this situation. It's not cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, get your shit together. Get exactly. your shit, people. <laughs> it, it's just yeah, it, it it confuses the shit out of me of how I'm um. I'm always the victim in a lot of these things, right? And I, I, I use that term lightly, um, victim, because... No, because let me tell you, you have a lot of patience and you do be cool. So it yeah. takes a no, lot for you to really go thing. off. Yeah. And, like, I mean, well, you have a lot of patience with kids, you know, everywhere else, I don't know. But yeah. Who as keeps far messaging as with me? kids... Robbie, Robbie just flips his shit at me. <laughs> yeah, he does. Facts. <laughs> Jesse wears a halo all the time with his patient, but Robbie be great, though. So it's like... You know, I, I, I have patience anymore. until I start leaving the game and wasting my time. Look, yeah. I, I will have all the patience. Time I will have all, will piss anybody off. I'll have all the patience in the world. But as soon as I do something for you and then you leave without saying a single thing or doing something and then just leave without saying anything, when we're like, imagine and then this you have is the old, then they a, have good, the a good example. Like, a good example is another, so. mic, is another mic example. Yeah. When we were doing Spaceland, right? Us three were doing the aliens. He didn't do a single thing, right? We did everything for him, like usual. That's how space. Yeah, and then we did Space Land, and he turned off his PlayStation, and he didn't say a single thing. Doing that, what the doing doing that pisses me off because we took the time out of our day to help this person, which we could have been helping someone that actually needs it, right? So whenever Mm -hmm. I run maps with people, I let them know beforehand, I did with this other kid as well, saying, you must have at least two to three hours spare because that's how long it's going to take to get at least three Easter eggs done, right? Two to three hours. Facts. Facts. Say like an hour for each one. Yeah, an hour for each one, Mm -hmm. right? 
And then you can mm-hmm. do four hours if you want to do, like, the first four, or five hours if you want to try and do all five. Although Ray should only take us about 20 to 30 minutes to do, right? So that's all good Fact. and dandy. That's all good and dandy. So we say four hours is the most we're going to need to complete every map if you need all the maps. Um, but what always seems to fucking happen is that people said, oh, you never said that, you didn't say this, you didn't say that, or when we're helping I mean, someone... but this is common sense. I know, but then... You stay on until you're done. That's, yeah. that's what it and is. Then, and then some people have the common decency, right? And this has happened to me three times now. And each time it's happened, I just want them to get fucked and to get someone else to help them because I don't have the time and patience to deal with people's cancerous comments. Is that people mm. straight up just say... Oh, you're not actually good at the game because you cheat all your maps. What? So, the what? reason the pe- reason people say this is because in my videos, if you if you've seen any of my RW runs, the key reason people say this is yeah. when I am running Shallon Shuffle yeah. and I use the God Mode, right? They said because mm-hmm. I'm not doing the map legitly, I'm cheating oh. my maps. Therefore, I'm not actually good at the game. I'm just shit, and that I need other people to carry me through the other ones. Yet I can solo every single map if I need to, right? Uh, I just wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can solo beast. I just choose not to because it's better running with people, and I don't need to take <laughs> to put all the shit on me, right? Because it's so annoying trying to use an EBR bomber and a yes, UDM, yeah. like trying to defeat defeat beast. It is I cancer. I just spin for Mauler, and if I don't get Mauler in the first ten, I I I, really I can't be bothered. I I the less time I have in beast, the better. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that, when people say I cheat my maps or that I'm shit at what I do, I just say don't don't ask me for help then. What's the point of asking yeah. if you're just going to shit talk? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then and then I'll get, I'll, I'll get other people that um who I help. They blew up our sheep. We need more sheep. Yeah, and then, like, I, I get other people who I help, and then I, I, I say to them in game and stuff. Like, because I see them in, sometimes in public games with the D cut on and the Willard Wyler, and then I can feel a little good about myself, a little good about myself. And then, that, and then, but and then they go the into game chat. Is... No, 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 no. My no, whole no. thing is, if you didn't know how to do it, you wouldn't even know how to do it in God modes and do any of that. Yeah, exactly. Like that takes understanding of the game to do. So it's yeah, exactly. like but that like, don't even make sense. That's stupid for them to even say. Yeah, exactly. But then, but then, like I said, I, I see sometimes I see people in public games and they have the D cut on, they have the Willard while on, and I'm feeling a little good about myself because I can officially say to myself, "Hey, I did that. Uh-oh. I helped that person. That was me." Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then I go into game chat and I talk to the person. Oh, who are you? Do I know no, you? I got them all by myself. Uh, I've never seen you before in my life, never talked to you before. And then, I'll, then a guy's like, Oh, how'd you get D cut? Oh, well, I did this, I did that. You fucking what? You fucking, you did what? Nothing? No, 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 no. It pisses me off when people who <laughs> I help know that I help them, pretend I don't exist, they don't know who I am. And going to game show and pretend they did it all by themselves. Pissing me off. Yes. I don't like it. Yeah. I got in trouble. I mean, that's, how that's, how called, that. um, that's how them people, remember I told you, um, just about them people saying a little comment? Literally, mm. just because I gave Robbie credit, you and Robbie credit on it, they just started going off on me. I was like, um, you know, um, I already got this with such and such and such. And they was like, well, fucking go back to them. And da-da. I'm just like, wow, I'm just trying to see how different people play and run and stuff. Like, they were, like, very livid about it. And it wasn't even necessary for them to just be that upset because I said I had somebody else already help. Like, damn, is it some kind of thing right there? I feel like it's Call of Duty game banging. Like, you better not go no other hood and get well, help. Really, it's like, well, there's people that are better than us. But it's like... It's- would, no, you they rather wasn't. To- would you rather play with toxic people and get it done, or would you rather yeah. have fun? And then yeah, I'd rather have the fun. Yeah, and people call us toxic anyway, though. Like, we, yeah. get to- we get called toxic because we, we, we swear at each other, right? Like, that's how is that toxic? Like, yeah. Nobody <laughs> is nice in game, and everybody talks shit. Damn near break their controllers and systems and everything well, when I they mean, get mad. So how all I mean, of a sudden we're like, hi, how are you? Yeah, but you know, like, that's period. You just heard me say, what the fuck, out of nowhere, because I got blown up by a creeper. So, come on. Like, everybody's passionate when they play. So, like, yeah, and y'all like, joking around. We, it's all in good fun. Yeah, but you got to remember, we just, we just, when we argue and call each other like shitheads and stuff like that, we do it as jokes, right? Yeah. We do it because we're it mates. It sounds like it. Yeah. Exactly. But then people take it the wrong way, and then... So they, they don't know you. Yeah. 
Exactly. People take it the wrong way and it all goes um, downhill. And then they pick, then they pick a side and then they hate the other person. Yeah, exactly. Facts. It'll always be like that. That just seems like story of life with people. Yeah. It's always gonna be that one person they prefer over the next. Yeah. So that makes the problem. Exactly, and it it makes me sad because like, look, I can I can say me 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 and Jesse in Hungary and all, and the people who are run maps with virtually everyone in CZHL we're not the best players in the game, right? We do make mistakes, but. People have this expectation because we're helping them, we're virtually invincible. Oh. But we, we don't go down, we don't die, we don't do this, there, we don't do that. There's some, there's some mistakes that we'll forgive, but there's some that we don't. Yeah. Like, and then, for example, take hazarding, bullying someone who's in a wheelchair. We don't yeah, forgive exactly. that. Yeah, like, that, that kind of stuff, right? Like, we've had people who we've run maps with that have been not oh, just... That's... Like, it's fine to be toxic with your friends, no. right? I'm not saying you can't be toxic with your yeah, friends, but when... Good. But when you go to a random stranger who does have a disability or somewhat, or like a disability or some stuff, like you know, like like Jesse was saying, we had a guy in our in our group. We were playing with a guy who is in a wheelchair, and straight up called this guy. Oh, imagine being in a wheelchair. Imagine not being able to walk. Imagine not being Bro. able to, to run. Shit like that. Yeah, and then yeah. I picked up. I picked up on it straight away and just started talking. Yeah. We, at that Back point, the then yeah. yeah, that's when we that's when we say to them, don't talk to us, don't associate with us, don't come near us. We don't we don't like people like that. Like take, take we them, can take them from the party and start like talking to the other person instead of has been. Yeah, like, exactly. It, it, oh, it's I don't, know. Just, I, I don't like associating. Yeah, you with don't we like don't that. talk about disadvantaged people and all that type. It's like it's certain yeah. things that is overly sensitive, so it's like don't go there. Yeah, and you, it's not even about stuff. people always being like overly sensitive people. It's just you know how you it's how you do content. Yeah, you know one, it's always about how yeah. you do content. Yeah, and then the the, the one that I I joke about all the time, and I I continue to, but that's because. I just have a lot of friends. Is I like the LGBTQ community, right? Like, oh I, yeah. I can, I can I can I can make jokes. I'm all day. gay as hell, but yeah. I can make gay jokes all day. Yeah, because I, I, have, I, I, have, fr- I have friends. <laughs> a lot of my friends that I have are in the LGBTQ community, so I I can make mm-hmm. I can make jokes about it in front of them and with them when I'm making playing games and stuff. But if I were to do it to a random person, I don't, don't know. do it too much. You see what yeah. happened with Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I know, but like, <laughs> yeah, but if I do that to a complete random stranger and they take it out of context, then that's mm-hmm. that's not good. That's why I don't do it. Well, that's literally what everyone does. They take everything out of context. Out of context, yeah. Person. And that's why I don't do it out of context. That's why I do it when I'm with my mates because I know that they they find it funny. They know it's a joke. Yeah, you know when and how to do it. It's yeah. always appropriate then I went ways to, stop, to do things. Went to tell you to stop and shit. Yeah, yeah, like anything in life, you want it to be done at the right time. Exactly. So yeah. it's like, die. Oh, that's yeah. what y'all asked to get for being over here. Now y'all exactly. all gonna die. Also, it, it's probably being more than an hour, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still told me to, like, hour, hour episodes, but you know. Yeah. Fuck it. Oh, no, but it, 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 it does get bad. It does get bad, you know. Um, Okay. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, I, I think is a retard, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. I think it's time. Is uh, it we... time for us to end, or what? What are we doing? Yeah, I, I think I think it is. We, we've been doing this for an hour, fifteen minutes. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it's enough. It's, to- about it's time. enough time. Yeah, it's about time we no, start talking about we should... Well, I hope you enjoyed the show today. We really appreciate everybody for coming and listening. We hope that you come back next week and continue to deal with us. Because we know we crazy and there's a lot of shit talkers in this world and we're glad that you came to hear us as shit talkers.